Hi, I'm Shiva and welcome back to Making the Right Connection. Today, we will be discussing the role of disconnect and test terminal blocks in enhancing the safety of personal and equipment in control and monitoring applications. In the electrical industry, disconnect and test terminal blocks are essential components for managing and monitoring electrical systems. Also called CTPT terminal blocks, these are used specifically for important function of testing and maintenance of meters in live condition. Now, when it comes to current transformer or CT testing, these terminal blocks make the process extremely smooth and efficient, ensuring precision, safety and reliability. Connect World CDS sits you. Disconnect and test terminal blocks provide a clear functional advantage for devices having utility instruments and associate transformers. These terminal blocks are suitable for wire scrimped with pin type locks. It is very easy to create complex CT circuits using CDS sits you terminals. Talking about the application of this terminal, here is a standard assembly for three phase CT test circuit, where the S1 and S2 wires from the CTs are connected on this side of the terminal assembly and the other side is connected to the relevant meters. Let me demonstrate how different types of testing can be accommodated with the same assembly by merely carrying out a small function on the terminal block. For comparison measurement, simply insert the wires of calibrated meter into the test sockets of first terminal here. Now open the disconnect slide link of the same terminal. This will allow you to easily compare the connected meter with the calibrated meter and therefore identify faults in the connected meter. For current and voltage injection testing with external power source, you need to first short the CT by sliding forward the installed jumper SLS2. Next, tighten the screws with orange caps installed on terminals 1 and 2. This essentially shorts the S1 and S2 points of the current transformer. Now, open the disconnect slide link of terminal 1. The meter is now completely disconnected from the circuit and the CT is safely shorted. Connect an external power supply at the meter end between the test sockets of terminal 1 and 2. This configuration now allows you to carry out current and voltage injection testing. If faulty meters are detected, then replacing the same is also quite easy with the help of disconnect and test terminals. For doing the same, first short the CT by pushing the sliding jumper SLS2 installed on terminals 1 and 2. Next, tighten the screws with the orange caps as shown previously. Now, with the CT shorted, it is safe to disconnect the circuit by opening the disconnect slide link of the terminal. Disconnect the faulty meter from the circuit and replace it with the new one. Close the disconnect slide link to connect the new meter in the circuit. Now you can unscrew the screws with the orange caps and pull back the sliding jumper to its original position and connect the CT into the circuit. You can prevent an accidental opening of the disconnecting link with a simple accessory which is a lockout cap like this one here. This adds to the safety of personnel and equipment involved in the test and measurement operation. These CTPT terminal blocks are also available in spring-loaded version, where an additional safety spring is provided underneath the screw clamp. These terminal blocks are preferred for connections that involve safety requirements of the ESI standard, British CEGP regulations and NTPC applications. These spring-loaded terminals are used with specially designed hook type locks, which once wired, get locked inside the clamp and do not come out even in case of mild vibrations. For CT circuits where connections may be subject to severe vibration, stud type terminal blocks are preferred. Connectwell offers STH4DT stud type disconnect and test terminals for CTPT applications, where use of ring type LUX is mandated. These terminals are designed with fully captive nuts in their shroud. This saves wiring time and makes it easy to wire these terminals using a standard screwdriver. Let me explain how STH4DT terminals can be used for current and voltage injection testing with external power source. Using QJ 11 by 2 shorting plugs, we can short the terminals 1 and 2. Next, open the disconnect slide link of terminal 1, thereby disconnecting the meter from the CT circuit. Connect the external source to the test sockets of terminal 1 and 2 at the meter end. Now, the current and voltage injection testing can be carried out. In case of meter replacement, follow similar steps. First, close the CT circuit connected to the terminals 1 and 2 with the shorting plug. Then, open the disconnect slide link of the terminal 1. Disconnect the meters from terminals 1 and 2 and replace the meter. In addition to the specific features I have spoken about, these terminal blocks are designed and built with all the advantages that you have come to expect from connectable terminal blocks. This includes compliance to the stringent design standards, 
international product approvals and an overall superior build quality. I hope this video would have clarified how easy it is to use disconnect and test terminal blocks for testing and maintenance of electrical systems. Also, I hope I was able to demonstrate how usage of these terminal blocks ensure safety of equipment and personnel. Till next time, stay well, stay connected.